It's a women's bantamweight title fight between Juliana Pena and Amanda Nunes. All right, here's the number one women's bantamweight contender. She believes for a while she's been the best at 135 pounds. She's making the walk tonight, staring down the champion. Confidence, not an issue. Fear, not a factor. We'll see if this talented number one contender can shed that label and leave with a new one as the UFC women's bantamweight champion. Well, this belt has changed hands quite a bit, but not since it's been held down by this young woman, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She has really set the standard for excellence at 135 pounds. Tonight, though, facing a number one contender that comes in with a lot of momentum. So if she can defend the belt yet again here tonight, it would really go a long way in stamping her legacy as one of the greatest Bantamweight fighters and champions of all time. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. The American is 30, the Brazilian is 32. The reach is the same. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment You've all been waiting for! Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World! It's for the first fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 21 wins, 5 losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, introducing the challenger, Amanda the Lioness And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, 4 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. Juliana, the Venezuelan, Vixen Pena! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, man. We are underway. So here we go, as anticipated as any fight on this card tonight. The well-rounded fighter versus the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. As you see coming up. This fight can go two ways. This can look ugly for the Jiu-Jitsu fighter. She could be forced to stand. She's in a lot of trouble. She needs to take this fight to the ground as soon as she can in order to win the fight. A oh, pretty good series of punches by her there. She certainly has found the range early tonight. She can box with anybody in the world, and she's showing that tonight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. 
All right, so will the elbows and knees soon follow? The first step is the tie clinch. She has it here. She secured the tie clinch. Now she's going to start to elbow and knee to try to put damage on her opponent. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Left hand punch. Okay. Nunez gets caught with that punch. Now she's got the Muay Thai plum. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagements from this 50-50 position? Big punch lands through the middle. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands amongst the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. 30 total strikes have landed for the Lioness Amanda Nunes. Oh, she landed a jab there. Is her jab better than yours or not? It's way better than <laughs> mine. She's... Whoa! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh, that is a nice jab by her there, as your boy Rosendo Sanchez might say. That was clean. It was so clean. One of the, one of the best female fighters I've ever seen right behind the jab is Joanna Young Jacek. She controlled people with a jab. Great punch. Oh, now she gets it done with the side kick, though. So we'll see if her opponent can adjust and, and not be on the wrong end of Oh! Can't oh. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Good work from the top here by Nunes. Under two minutes to go here in round one. All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. Big one from the clinch. Well, she has really come out guns blazing here to start this fight. A lot of shots to the body, to the head, and really the aggression, I think, that the matchmakers and UFC president Dana White want to see. She is a woman on a mission here tonight. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Back in the clinch now. If you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land beautiful punches to the head. And you go, oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Trying to stay in this fight! Oh, she defended the takedown beautifully and scrambles back to her feet. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Kenya gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Now she's got the Muay Thai plump. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown deal? That knee might have landed there. Now she's got the Muay Thai plump. Landed that left hook. Again, back into this position. Nunez has got the tie clinch now. And there comes the separation now. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. Can't take many of those, you better check. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish?
You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Real nice body kick land. Nice loop and punch. Way to hide that leg kick. Yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts, not just the jab, but the double jab. And a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. <laughs> Nunez's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Oh, she continues to work the body here to great effect. Nice leg kick land. And again, she slips off the center line, avoids the contact. Great head movement, really, from her the entire fight time. Great timing on that double leg. Nice hammer fist. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transition. Nunez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Pena. Oh, her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her kick. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Nice leg kick. Oh, you know about her kick. She's got him going tonight. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. Oh, what a punch. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And now she's got the tight clinch. Look at how she drives her knee right into her opponent's midsection. Both fighters hanging down. Oh! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Oh, big knee! Oh! She is such a reverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish the fight. With conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Pena's looking for that arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There it is. Getting tighter. And there it is. Oh! Yeah, really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. So there she is as the celebration continues in the corner. The queen of the 135ers.
the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. What a way to get the job done and leave with the UFC goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, five seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Julia, the Venezuelan big son, Pena. Well, not unlike the great Israel Adesanya, she doesn't hope and pray. She aims and fires, <laughs> and she is still the UFC women's bantamweight champ. What a great champion that rules atop this division. She's the queen, the queen of the world in one of the UFC's best women's divisions.